Hiya, I'm Harry, and for sale, this is my yurt, Orion. Ta-da! Um, and today I just want to show you, for those of you who are interested perhaps in buying Orion, um, I've listed her on Gumtree and eBay in various places. I'm based here in Kent, working on an organic farm, as you can see behind me. And I've been living here in my yurt for the last year and a half, but unfortunately the time has come to move on. Um, yeah, today I just wanted to give you a brief overview for those people who want to see what it's like without having to visit Kent, maybe you're in another part of the country. Um, just give you an overview of the main features of the yurt. Um, yeah, and without further ado, let's begin. So I built my yurt here, lived in it a year and a half, as I said. Built it on a raised platform, and I've given it a raised decking platform here as well, which is not, unfortunately, in the sale. That's going to be staying here on the land. But the rest is, the platform, the round platform the yurt comes on, is for sale, as well as its floor. And the stove and all other key features I'm just about to show you. Um, it's 18 foot diameter, which is about 28 square meters of floor space. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, I've cleaned it. <laughs> um, this is the tonneau, or the sky lid, um, covered by a PVC cap, which lets enough daylight in, even when it's quite dark, to make the yurt itself a very bright space to live. Um, I also have another window here at the back and a window cut into behind the kitchenette here, a PVC window, which you can't open, but it lets even more light in if you wish. But I've usually found the star cap is enough <laughs> for light and keep the curtains closed most of the time. Um, yeah, so this is a panning right to left. This is how I've lived in it for the last year and a half. Got a nice wood burning stove here seven to eight kilowatts, which makes it about 25 to 30 degrees in winter in here, if you can keep it topped up with your logs. Makes it a really pleasant environment. Um, here is a hardwood cherry floor that I've laid on top of the platform that's also for sale. It's all tongue and groove and slots in place. I've not glued it or nailed it, so it's an extremely nice floor um, and it makes the yurt feel very spacious and clean and nice. Um, I will briefly spin around for you give you another perspective from the other side so as you can see all the walls are lined with cotton behind that both the roof and the wall segments are it's covered in an insulation layer which you can just see poking through actually here um, behind the cotton I couldn't quite get the cotton close enough to the stove where it gets very hot um, this is what keeps me warm in winter if you're planning on living in a year all year round Insulation is absolutely essential, I think, um, so therefore it's part of the sale with this one. Um, it's very, it's quite difficult to make, I custom made it all for myself, so... Um, yeah, it makes the yurt feel lighter as well with the cotton. Here's the kitchenette, which is all a 1950s kitchen. I've remodded and put a curved back on and a nice um, twin hob gas stove with a water pipe and a mini Belfast sink. Um, that's more than enough for just living here as a pair. In a small space, it suits us perfectly. Um, yeah, there's about enough space in an 18-foot yurt for a few extra things. If you wanted a table, I've got a chest, you know, a chest of drawers, things like that. Um, I'll show you the window. Which opens like that. Unfortunately, you can't open the window, but it does let a lot more light in. Um, it's a plastic frame, uh, plastic, so PVC, um, wooden frame, everything's wood in the structure of the yurt, all ash framed, except the doors and the window frame, which is made of pine. But yeah, this is just a brief overview for people who are interested in this yurt. It is for sale, as I said, on Gumtree and eBay. Please check it out. I'll post it in a link below. Um, but that's probably how you arrived at the video anyway. But yeah, this is just to give you an idea of how what, what one particular my living situation looks like in a yurt. But you can use these use these wonderful spaces for yoga studios, retreats in the bottom of the garden, a writing shed, any sort of space really. Um, yeah, fantastic things. Um, yeah, I hope you've liked that brief introduction to the yurt. I'm just going to come back out. And yeah. There we have it.